everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder video. Today we're going to be playing in the Panthers, and you join us midway through the carnage in the Panther F. This is the last modification of the Panther, uh, which never actually saw full production. Um, it had the experimental Schmalterm turret, which is uh, a bit different from the uh, standard Panther turret. As you can see, it's a bit more square which uh, prevented it having a shock trap on the other Panthers, which you might end up seeing later if we uh, if we last that long, which um, is probably going to be the case, judging by our situation right now. Ooh, can we get it? Ooh, that was sneaky. Ooh, that's a T-34-100. That's very scary. Um, so, yeah, the Panther F, very good tank. A lot of people consider, would consider the Panthers to be the best tanks of World War II. Obviously, there's much debate as to whether that is the case. Uh, on paper, they probably were, maybe, but there's uh, a lot of contenders. The T-34, the Sherman, the Panzer IV, and so on and so on and so on. The Panther, it usually is like the unanimous agreed one. But, um, but yeah, it's, a, it's an endless debate, to be honest. Well, let's see if we can at least try and see if there is merit to that claim in this here battle. So we have taken a bit of a beating, like I said, you join us midway through the battle, well, early on in the battle, but, um, well, I thought why not start recording now, I suppose, because this could end up being pretty good. And today is all about the Panthers, I have every, or almost every variant of the Panther in this lineup, with the exception of the D model, which is the first one. Unfortunately, we do not have crew replenishment yet. Boom! So yeah, the Panther, excellent armour at the front, although only really at the front, like most tanks. Um, an excellent gun through and through, really solid penetration and damage, and accuracy, and shell velocity, and decent mobility. The only thing that really holds the Panthers back collectively is that they are a little bit clunky. Um, they're a bit wobbly because no stabiliser, and uh, they struggle to react quickly to things that are outflanking them. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. And you really can't fault the gun. The gun is a true highlight just as we get killed there. Um, and that is actually a problem with the Panther F's turret. It definitely remedied, um, or sorry, fixed the problem of the early Panthers with the shot trap. See, if that was an early Panther, that would have killed me. But unfortunately, by making the turret more square, it's actually just an easier target to hit and go through. So, we're going with the Panther Panther G, which did fix the shot trap on the gun mantlet there. You can see how it's flat at the bottom rather than curved round. Yeah, basically prevents shells from bouncing down into the hull. And it does happen sometimes, actually. So, the Panther G arguably the most famous or the best version of the Panther because it fixed that uh, shot trap problem and it has better side armor and it has um, better reliability with its engine because that was definitely something the Panthers struggled with early on. Um, so yeah, unfortunately reliability isn't really an issue so on paper it might seem why would you get the G over the D when it's a higher battle rating but just kind of worse in regards to a speed it does however, have several good points about it. The main one being the side armour and the vastly improved turret rotation speed. Um, it's actually pretty good on this thing, whereas, you know, the other Panthers really did struggle. So we picked up our fourth kill there, and now it's time to retake A again. And it's kind of fitting that we're on the Cologne map, because uh, one of the most famous recorded on film tank duels was in Cologne between a Panther and a Pershing. Spoiler alert, the Panther was not the winner. And uh oh, looks like a Sherman has found us. I'm not sure what variant of the Sherman. Judging by the wild explosives, it looks like it's a Super Sherman. It is. Reverse, reverse, reverse. I'm not sure if I'm going to survive that one. Nope, not today. That was a high explosive round, what? How did that kill me? Time to jump in an aircraft. This is, I said, all about the Panthers, but I wanted to showcase this as well. It is, of course, the JU-87D Stuka. Uh, one of the later variants of the Stuka, one of the less bad ones. Um, 
yeah, obviously Stuka, arguably the most famous dive bomber of all time with that iconic siren that it does uh, when it's diving. The later models don't actually have that siren, mostly because pilots remove them and, uh, well, they kind of found it annoying, to be honest. You know, it's like, okay, it's scaring the enemy, but it's also really annoying, so let's get rid of it. And the longer in the war it went, the Stuka became more and more long in the tooth. In other words, it became outdated. These things were very easily uh, shot down by fighter aircraft. Uh, just like most dive bombers, to be honest. But th this is the late model of the Stuka, so we can actually carry a very solid bomb load. And this isn't going to be as steep a dive bombing run as usual, but it's good enough. And this has a very impressive bomb load, two 250 kilo bat bombs and one 1,000 kilo bomb. Not 1,000 pounds, 1,000 kilos. And that, let's just say, it does a lot of damage. But first, let's get rid of the 250, see if we can kill this jumbo. Oh, yep, that's pretty much right on. And there you go, another kill for the Stuka. But here is the problem, once you've dived down and you've done your work, uh, it's, you're going to struggle to get back up to height to drop your last bomb. And we've got to be careful because, well, this thing, you can see just how vulnerable this thing is while it's still carrying its payload and while it's basically low and slow. So, uh, where is an enemy? We've got to find one, or ideally a group of vehicles to drop this big boy on. And I'm not seeing any. Uh, you just gotta watch out for fighters. Because they love to shoot down Stukas. Alright. This game is rapidly coming to a close, actually. There's only one guy on their team. No wonder I can't find them. Go on, who's gonna be first? Who is gonna be first? Oh, looks like they found him. No, they haven't found him. They're just trolling. But yeah, you can definitely see the problem with the Stuka here. Uh, struggling to gain altitude again, uh, you know. And the last guy was, in fact, an Israeli Spitfire who shot down our A7M2. Not a bad run, first of all. But this is a game that's meant to be focusing on the Panthers and the Stuka if we can, you know, last long enough to jump into one. So, without further ado, let's go again! So, as last time we started off with the Panther F, this time we'll be starting off with the Panther G, and we're on the Ardennes map in winter, so, you know, Battle of the Bulge uh, flashbacks, I suppose, where the Panther G was actually used in combat. So, the Panther, all the Panthers kind of share the same strengths and weaknesses, um, with the exception of the D, which has a couple more weaknesses. First of all, the armor. It really is very good, especially when you factor in this is still a medium tank at the end of the day. Uh, hull armor is nigh on impenetrable for most tanks that aren't firing Sabo or Heat or an IS-2. And the turret is also pretty good. It's definitely better than contemporary medium tanks of the tier. Mobility, as you can see, this isn't a fully upgraded Panther G, but we're nearly there. And while it's not super, super fast, it does get pretty speedy once you hit that top speed. Obviously this is a 45 ton tank and that's uh, roughly 10 tons heavier than, you know, your T-34-85s, your Easy 8s and your Comets, so it's a big boy. Uh, the gun, as we talked about, and as you saw, is very, very good through and through. Can't really fault the gun at all, to be honest. Um, although, for some reason, RNG does not always seem to be on my side. I have bounced things that should not bounce, and I have done nil damage to things that should not... Uh, you know, things that should be one-shot. Oh, ah. Unfortunately, as you saw there, the reload is not as good as it could be. I guess I'm used to the American and British tanks, which tend to have faster reloads. I guess it does hit hard, this big gun. There you go. Alright, I can hear an M18 Hellcat, and uh, one of the arch nemesis uh, of this tank, because this thing hates being outflanked. It's uh, really quite vulnerable in the sides. 
obviously no more vulnerable than other tanks of the tier that are getting shot in the side, but um, yeah, only 40 millimeters of side armor, 50 on the Panther G and F, but it just doesn't do well. Um, you know, very vulnerable to ambushing, uh, which could be bad in a city environment. So you know, front towards the enemy and all that. Oh, there you go. That was a. Uh... Oh dear. There's another one. Okay, he's actually jammed our turret ring there, so that's not good. But if I position myself in a place where I won't need to turn the turret, then we should be fine. So now we got to wait for the repairing. Quite surprised he only took out my turret. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't do more than that, but fair enough. Can I try and peek around the corner to get a look at where that jumbo went? It is only a jumbo, so I should be alright. Um, it looks like it has the short 70... Ah! Oh, I was going to say, it looks like... Oh, no, it had the long 76. Okay, that could have been bad. Um, yeah, I would say tunnel vision, but even if I did see him coming, there wasn't a lot I could do about it anyway. So, now we're going to jump into a Panther A. The Panther A being a uh, another pretty good variant. It's basically the, uh, the D without all the bad bits. So they've added in a hull machine gun, which doesn't do anything in game except provide a weak point for the enemy to shoot at. Um, it's slower, but it has better acceleration and better traverse. And it's got a way faster turret turn speed. It might not look that fast, but trust me, the D's turret traverse is awful. It really is bad. I mean, we have this one down up to 15 degrees. The D is about 5, so yeah, you've got three times better turret traverse speed. And uh, that's kind of it between the D and the... Uh, uh, the D and the A. As you can see, our tank is coated with Zimmerite. It doesn't do anything in game, it's uh, just cosmetic, but it looks cool, I guess. Oh, jeez. Uh, these late war American tanks are quite a problem for Panthers, though. Like these T 34s and the Pershings. As you can see, a bit of a struggle. I'm trying to find his machine gun port there. Let's just hope he doesn't shoot at me, which might happen if we're not careful. Why don't we shoot his cannon barrel, guys? That would probably be a good idea. I wonder if I can... I don't know if I can go through his lower plate at this angle. Right, he's just fired. Ooh. Oh, okay, someone else got him. Right, forwards. Now, this is as it's live. It's not going to be one of those, oh my god, Panther gets highest scoring game of all time. It's going to be just giving you an idea of what the Panthers are like, because they're some of the most famous and sought-after tanks in the game, because, you know, if you're someone that's not super into tanks, but you know tanks a little bit, and so you probably have your basic favourites, like the Tiger. Oh, my word. Now that is tunnel vision. Come on. Um... The, you you know, you might be fairly new to tanks, so you'll be like, okay, I know the Tiger tank, so I'll play Germany, and I'll get the Tiger. Oh, I also know the Panther a little bit, so I'll, play, I'll get, you know, it's one of those famous go-to tanks if you're new to the game. And they're pretty good, you just got to be fairly reserved with them. You don't want to be um, going in alone, as you saw, you can get outflanked and surrounded, and this tank doesn't really like that. The side armor just isn't there for that to happen. So, uh, basically find a street and make sure all the enemies are coming at you from the front. You don't really have to worry about angling because your hull armor is good enough as it is and your side armor isn't, so... Ooh, okay. Now this is actually a bad, 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 bad bit of news. There you go. <laughs> Surprised you penned that though. Was that through the side of my turret? Oh no, through the hole. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, side armor, very bad. But it's time to jump back into the Stuka. To see how this will go. Uh, we're doing okay. Not doing great, but we're doing okay. I think in this case it will just be... A, you know, we'll need to basically drop our bombs fairly swiftly. Because if we hang around too long then um, 
well then we'll just be really slow unless I select it so I drop the 1000 kilo bomb first that might be a better idea now this isn't a very high battle rating Stuka, it's only 2.0, which is very good at 2.0. At 6.0, it's, yeah, yeah, that's kind of the historical Stuka experience, I guess. But let's just say that A2D Sky Shark on the enemy team is vastly superior to my aircraft in basically every regard. Okay, I can see some tanks. We want a cluster of them, though, because this is a thousand kilo bomb, like I said, and thousand kilo bombs well, they like to be dropped on many, many things. Right, that's a T-29 or T-34. Alright, we took out the T-34. Very good. We can exit the selected weapons now. There's the T-25 that killed me earlier. Looks like you're next, sir. And that's another kill. See, while the Stukas are slow and vulnerable, they are also very precise. You know, it's quite easy to get the bomb dropped on target. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, slow and vulnerable, like I said. But we should have enough kills to respawn, and we do. So, returning to the Panther F. Very, very cool tank. Um, I'm not sure if it's the most effective one tier for tier in the game but it is definitely very solid. The turret traverse is actually slower than the A and the G, but it's not bad. It's not nearly as bad as the D, so you can make it work. Just trying to keep an eye on for planes. And wow, uh, PEA just nuked uh, the map and killed one of our teammates in the process. Fair enough. Worth it, though. So, let's see if we can pick up some more kills before this game comes to an end. It doesn't look like the game's ending anytime soon. I might have to bring out the Tiger E if it goes on for long enough. And I haven't really played the Tiger E yet, so it could be uh, it could be interesting as it's uh, stock. Alright, is that a Pershing? Looks like a Pershing. It was a Pershing. That was the Jumbo Pershing. Forwards! And of course, I suppose it has to be mentioned when talking about Panthers, even the F, which has the funky turret. Um, even. Oh my word. Oh, those are assault fuse bombs, that's interesting. Uh, even the F, which has the different turret. You know, these are nice looking tanks. A lot of people say Panther is the best looking tank of the war. And oh my word, there's another enemy plane coming in. I don't like that. We're going to have to... Oh, is that a 75mm M3 half-track? Wow. Oh, bugger. Okay. I can't tell if he's bombing me or someone else. But there's another plane coming in. Yeah, I saw a 75mm half-track, which is uh, an interesting choice of vehicle. Oh, goodness me. There's a Thunderbolt there. Okay, this is definitely the uh, the World War II German experience. Constant American air attacks. And there you go. Couldn't have highlighted it better myself, to be honest. Um, that is basically... The, the, in a nutshell, the problem with the Panther F, the armor on the turret isn't very good. And yes, there is an IS-2 there. I know, <laughs> just gotta run. I want to get to the capture point so I can repair faster. Go, 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 go. Let's hope he's nice enough to help me. He is. Oh, the Sky Shark's back. That's not good. And he is pounding our team. Oh, my word. This is uh, really looking quite bad for us. I just saw the half track again. Oh, my word. M18. Okay, they got him. Right, the enemy team have actually gotten in round behind us. Oh, the Sky Shark's here. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. Yeah. 
Well, what can you do, I suppose? This is when you need a fighter to take down one of those. Unfortunately, my German lineup only has so many vehicles in. Well, let's try the Tiger E. This could go very badly. In fact, I expect it to, as it's stock. So if we get damaged, we are done for. And judging by... Oh, they finally got the Sky Shark. Thank you. That was a nasty guy on their team. Yeah. Unsurprisingly, in first place, shout out to Red Special. 16 ground kills. Looks like he got one more than my overall record. Yikes. I probably need to pick up myself a Scar Shark, to be honest, if they're that good. Okay, looks like their air power has finally been, finally been silenced. About time, because they were doing a real number on our team. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no. Um... I think we're about to be on the receiving end of a nuke here, guys. No! I don't think it's ever happened to me. Okay, it's actually severely anxiety-inducing when this actually happens. I assume that's Red Special on his way now. Oh, Super Helka. Oh god, here it comes. Oh no! Destroy that last bomber! I've used the Tiger as an AA here. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Get it! Get it! Has he dropped it yet? I don't think he's dropped it yet. Oh no, he's dropped it now. Oh goodness me, that's a that's a big ass bomb. Oh no! And there you go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Somehow his B29 is still alive after that, but okay. What a climactic end to the game. I guess that's what would have happened to Germany if uh, the war had gone on a little longer for them. So, there you have it. I think that showcased the Panther and the other tanks pretty well. Um, I didn't say it would be the greatest game of all time. Like I said, it's just Panther and a bit of Tiger gameplay. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And, well, what a way to end it. Um, I hope you had a good time watching this video. And if you did, hit the like button, comment down below. And, of course, subscribe for more. And check out the Patreon in the link down below. And don't forget, I will be going live for Friday Games number 4. Um, same time as usual, but stay tuned uh, for tomorrow's live stream, and I'll catch you in the next one.